Good evening, and welcome to the Holy Spirit's Blog Talk Radio Show. I'm your host, Minister Gio Hart, and I thank you all for tuning in. Uh, tonight, we're going to be talking uh, health tonight. And we've been, uh, or nearly we, we've been doing shows dealing with health uh, every week, but we haven't, haven't done that in quite some time, uh, dealing with the present issues at hand. But tonight we, we want to get things back on track because we understand that uh, having a health a healthy body, and, but especially a, he- a healthy a healthy mind, uh, truly goes a long way when it comes to uh, becoming uh, more spiritual, more conscious uh, of your living and of your life, and how you see things and how you view things and how you uh, relate to. To the earth because as we know things were in the beginning they were formed from the earth and what we did as a people is we ate from the earth nor did we eat uh, any dairy uh, we didn't eat any um, uh, any meats but we ate fruits and or vegetables a lot of proteins and carbs uh, primarily what we did eat and um, those were, and we had some sugar because there was some, some sweeteners in, you know, um, when you're dealing with fruits and certain types of vegetables, there is some sugar, but, but there's natural sugar, um, as well as honey and maple and all those things and, and chocolate. But it was all natural, and um, it was beneficial for you to have uh, certain sugar, uh, um, glu- glucose levels uh, in your body. Here now, uh, as we know, in the U.S. alone, the United States is the the most sickest when it comes to health-wise. Uh, the U.S. is the most sickest uh, place on the planet. Uh, we are the, we are the most unhealthiest people uh, because of the types of food that we eat, surely, but also. Uh, the multitudes of chemicals that are being put in our foods uh, from major corporations and Monsanto's uh, being the lead, the, the forerunner. Uh, so we want to talk tonight a little bit about uh, health and, and, and eating uh, a nutritious meal. And um, this, is, this wonderful article I ran across um, uh, dealing with health and it um, it talked about cardio, and, um, and it talked about does fast cardio, fasted cardio, uh, does it really burn more fat? And it was a wonderful article that I saw out of the Daily Beast uh, discussing this, um, this, this int- really this intriguing topic to me. Uh, I, I, I felt it very uh, enlightening uh, because I, I didn't know anything about it. <laughs> You know, and so it was. It was. It was. It was rather awesome to to read this article and um, really to be enlightened. I mean, it's always a, a a wonderful thing to be enlightened, and and surely um, I was I was enlightened by this article that came out uh, recently uh, by this um, Christine Yufor, and um, again out of the Daily Beast. Uh, that this this article came out of, and um, want to read. I just want to read a little bit, a little bit about it. When she talked about uh, the writer and the um, of this article, when she talked about exercising uh, in the morning on an empty summer, uh, it, it, it's been a it's been a debatable issue because many people have said that. You know, when you exercise in the morning on an empty stomach, uh, you tend to burn more fat, and and and, and truly you do uh, burn more fat. But 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 the the uh, debate uh, is whether or not, because a lot of people believe that uh, when they do that, they in, end up burning more fat uh, without food intake for about eight to twelve hours. Uh, but it says um, with glycogen. Glycosin, 
stores depleted and low morning insulin levels, your body has to turn to other energy uh, sources to power through your workout and it's more likely to, to turn to fat for fuel. And fasted cardio is a technique that has been around for a long time and bodybuilders, they use it primarily. And one that's gaining popularity among regular gym goers and even endurance athletes. But will foregoing your morning oatmeal, she says, will that really lead to a leaner body and better athletic performance? And um, so one of the things she talked about was the fast track to fat to fat loss. And, and she was saying that early in the morning, uh, unfueled workouts are a common protocol among bodybuilders. Uh, particularly in preparation for like competition and when they need to lean to lean out as much as possible before they walk on the stage and then and also some celebrities has have also turned to this technique uh, to get ready for close-up whether it's a photo shoot or a red carpet event and the question is is fasted cardio a good way to burn fat and the answer she says is yes and no and this is by uh, uh, J. Cardello, a, a N S C A and a I S S, a certified strength and conditioning and fitness expert who has worked with uh, celebrities like uh, Sophia Vergara, Jennifer Lopez, and as well as 50 Cent. And she said it's, it's, it's effective, but it's not sustainable. And studies have found that exercising in a fasted state can burn almost 20%. 20 percent more fat compared to exercising with fuel in the tank and and it says reason being is because uh, once we eat insulin which regulates the breakdown of fat increases in, in our bodies and according to some research higher insulin levels have been shown to suppress fat metabolism up to 24 percent however uh, research has demonstrated that fast fasted cardio it does not increase fat burning over a 24-hour period. And while your muscles adapt to using more fat when you exercise, you don't really actually lose more fat overall on the days that you exercise compared to the days that you don't. And there's an, an, another study suggested that ingesting carbs before working out increases the post-exercise afterburn effect and more than the fastest state. And that means more calories burn uh, throughout the day not just doing your uh, uh, your sweat session, so that's all. That's interesting to know too, because it says here before working out increases. You know, another uh, another um, study said that if you eat before you work out, or you take in some carbs before working out, that really helps you throughout the day, and not just doing the exercise, but throughout the entire day. That's awesome, you know, and um, because. You know, to me personally, I mean, I understand this article because really, you know, everybody's body uh, responds differently. So that's why you have the imbalance of, you know, it works for some people and it, work, and, and it may not work for others. But I always believe that, you know, if, if you eat an apple or maybe take in about uh, four ounces, four ounces of uh, oatmeal and a glass of juice before you work out, it's not going to hurt anything. You know, I mean... It's not, I mean, I have, I have, I exercise in the morning as well, and sometimes I may, I may eat some yogurt before, or sometimes, you know, I, 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 I don't. But for the most part, I normally, I do take in uh, some type, some form of juice, or something like that. But ideally, I don't, I don't have the notion of trying to uh, focus, focus, focusing on uh, not eating before the meal to burn more fat. You know, I just believe. And I, just, and I know for a fact that eating uh, the proper uh, diet is, is what going to, is what going to sustain you and not just a you know fast cardio in the morning time because you know as the, as the experts are saying over and over uh, that um, is, it, it's not substantiated that it works. I mean it, it works it works to a certain degree but it's, it's not it's not a long term effect. And that's why he talked about how uh, Jennifer Lopez, as well as uh, 50 Cent, used it, this type of uh, style of workout uh, be before he did his album cover, his latest album cover. And yet, 
ex experts have said that, you know, if you're going to do this type of um, uh, fasted cardio, you know, meaning you, you, you're going to do a, a really intense cardio um, to burn more fat and not eat anything, you, you, you might want to check with a, with, with a physician first. And, and um, they also recommend, uh, Jay Cardelio, Cardelio uh, recommend that you do not do this alone. That you either have a nutritionist or, or, or someone spotting you uh, doing this exercise because you can you, you can become nauseated, uh, you can even get, become dizzy. So you got to be mindful of, of, of working out or trying to be you know trying to do the latest trend of working out, and you end up working yourself to death, <laughs> you know so to speak. So you you, you, you really got to find that balance uh, when it comes to this type of thing. And um, just be very uh, cautious in that in that area, and uh, take it from there. I'm gonna take a quick little break, and I'm gonna come back, and I, I want to talk about this new thing now, uh, and it's called um, intermittent fasting. And uh, intermittent fasting, and uh, we're gonna talk about what that is. I just found out what that is. It's been, it's been around for maybe a year or so, but. I want to find out what that was because when I saw the word fasting, I was extremely curious. So we're going to take a quick, quick break and we're going to come back and talk about this intermittent fasting and how it has taken over the, the craze around the U.S. Back in a moment. Hi there. And I want to share with you this wonderful new home decor store that has the city of Metro Atlanta beaming with excitement. Patina Blue is your one-stop shop where you can find all your amenities for your friends, families, and or business. They have some of the most unique gifts and designs that will have your new home, or if you're just looking to upgrade at Patina Blue, you will find hidden treasures throughout their Alpharetta store. Patina Blue is a unique lifestyle store offering beautiful adornments for you and your home. Their shop is filled with amazing selected collections of gifts, jewelry, bath and body products, furnishings and home decor. We strive to inspire you and make everyday living simply wonderful, says the owner of this wonderful new store. Whether your style is romantic, rustic, modern, or hip, you will find it all at Patino Blue. Stop by or visit their website at patinoblue.com. Let us help you with your decoration needs or selecting the perfect gift. And tell them, Minister Jill Harden sent you by. Thank you for watching the By His Blood Ministries. We'd love for you to share this wonderful new ministry with you, your family, your friends, and your loved ones. And share the word about how God is building the kingdom. Tell them that there is a new ministry via internet that they can be a part of and enjoy each and every Saturday evening around 7 p.m. and on Sunday mornings at 7.45 a.m. as well as 6 p.m. on Sunday evenings. And we're sure all those who log on that their lives will be magnified in the Lord. We also uh, are seeking donors and sponsors for our new uh, ministry in order to obtain a building uh, in Alpharetta, Georgia, as well as in unison with the, with, with the building uh, we have started a new Nehemiah project uh, reaching from North Georgia all the way to South Georgia to be exact. And our mission is simple. Uh, to sponsor 35 to 40 kids in a year-round project from after-school programs, summer school, planting Liberty Gardens throughout their communities. Refurbishing abandoned buildings and houses and yards is only the tip of the iceberg. And we, and we need you, my beloveds, to please give a generous donation of any kind, whatever God lays on your heart in order to get uh, this wonderful project started and that we've declared we've already had. At the bottom of this video, uh, there will be a link to go to our website uh, via HolySpiritsRadio.org. And there you can go from the Gifts from the Heart page and live to give. And we certainly thank you all uh, for your steadfast and sowing seeds into this new ministry with your tithes, your gifts, and or offerings. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. 
And finally, don't forget to check us out uh, on our internet station, on our, on our blog talk radio show called The Holy Spirit's Radio Show. And you can, and you can follow us uh, when you arrive there, and, you, and we will send you an email of all our new broadcastings each time we broadcast in real time. That website is also at the bottom of the screen, and don't forget we're doing a live taping of our blog talk radio show every Sunday evening around 6.30 and or 11, 6.30 p.m., that is, and or 11, 11 p.m. Wonderful show it shall be, and we certainly hope you will flip over to our blog talk radio show station and tune in to listen on blog talk radio and watch us live on live stream as well. My people, you don't want to miss this show. We thank you again and we hope to see you there. This is Minister J.L. Hart saying, stay free, stay well, and stay blessed. Peace. All right, and we're back. And again, we're talking about health today. Um, very important issue. Uh, there's so much stuff out there on the market. Uh, anywhere you, everywhere you go, there's going to be something dealing with health. Uh, everyone has a new diet plan, a new um, <laughs> a get quick weight loss plan. It's so amazing. And uh, I tell you, I have a wonderful friend that I had on my show uh, last year uh, by the name of Miss Shelley Chapman, an incredible a uh, woman who has a uh, founded her own company, uh, Body, Food, and Freedom. And this wonderful woman has uh, uh, just created a wonderful uh, channel uh, that deals with cooking and different, she, she's cooking different natural foods and health foods uh, dealing with her show. And again, you can go to either Shelly Chapman, uh, you can Google Shelly Chapman, or you can go to bodyfoodfreedom.com and you can learn more about all the wonderful recipes and the different techniques uh, that uh, Shelly uh, incorporates uh, in weight loss. She does new dieting, and that's an awesome thing because what she does is she helps people identify why they're eating. You know, it, it's not about the Jenny Craig and you, oh, you eat three meals a day, but 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 there, there's a there's a mechanism in your body and in, in your mind. Uh, that causes you uh, to eat, you know, for no reason. Whether you're tired, you're stressed out, you're upset, you're worrying, and, and, and or some type of uh, self-esteem issue. But there's a there's a multitude of reasons why people are gaining weight or, or, or people are, are obese. And I'm not just talking about adults. I'm talking about young folk, uh, kids as well. Uh, there's a multitude of reason reasons why people are uh, overweight uh, in the U.S. And yeah, it, it is because of, you know, there's so much sugar in everything. Did you know that sugar adds 10 years? Well, I'm sorry, it, it cuts off 10 years of your life expectancy. Just average sugar, just if, if we continue to, to, to intake, you know, our, our, of course, our coffee in the morning, our muffins in the morning, you know, what, or what have you. Our afternoon snacks. If you work in an office, you got plenty of treats and around and and munchies and, and chocolates. Women you know, uh, chocolates, and then you go home. You eat ice cream or some kind of fast food or some type of en energy drink, drink that's not really an energy drink. Drink it has a ton of sugar in it, a ton of caffeine. And if if, if we continue to live that life, it makes us look, look ten years older, but it also takes off ten years off of our life expectancy. So you, you got to be mindful of, of, of your intake. And that's why I love, I, I did two shows with uh, Shelly Chapman. You can, you can go to my uh, Holy Spirits Radio.com and go to my archives and you can, you can hear the two shows uh, that I've done with Miss Shelly Chapman. Wonderful uh, sister that is on the move and she is doing incredible uh, work with, with men and women, uh, getting them to understand the spiritual side of healthy eating. You see, it starts in the mind. Don't get it twisted. You know, that's why I say you got to be mindful because there's so many, 
uh, things that are out there. And, and listen, a lot, a lot of this stuff, it works <laughs> for, 30 day, for 30 to 60 days. And then you're back to square one. And with, Sh and with Shelly Chapman and her body food freedom.org, uh, I'm sorry, dot com, uh, she teaches you to understand and overstand who you are. And, and that thing inside of you and how to love yourself and, and, and understand yourself and have clarity on your body, your mind, and your spirit. Because once you control those things, then you're not going to want that donut. You know, you, you, you're not going to want those sweets. And, 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 and what's so awesome is here she is now, uh, she's creating a uh, a multitude of recipes uh, to show people that they can have uh, all the all these wonderful treats, but she's using she's using natural sugars uh, to 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 create wonderful meals, if any sugar at times, because you, you really can't get away from sugar totally. That's why natural sugars are, are, are certainly the best way to go. So really, check her out. Then I have another wonderful uh, woman of God I had on my show, Miss Jacqueline Allen. Uh, she's also an expert uh, in nutrition. Uh, she worked alongside of Jack Lane for decades. Her name is uh, Jacqueline Allen. She also does has a wonderful detox program. As also she does yoga. She's a yoga instructor. She owns a yoga company as well. And I also have had her on him. I've had her on my show as well. Jacqueline has written a book. Along, she co-authored a book with uh, some of her uh, friends in the field of um, nutrition and and dietary and, and health and fitness, and um, it's called Busy Moms. Wonderful book she, uh, her and uh, some of her colleagues have, have written a, a book for for, for busy moms uh, um, who are ba you know balancing uh, so many things out there. So you can also go to Jack, Jack, Jacqueline Allen, I'm sorry, JacquelineAllen.com, and you can Google her or just go to Jacqueline Allen and um, really uh, check out uh, some of the wonderful things uh, that she's doing. And I'm, uh, her, her, the name of her company slips me right now, but I'm, I'm going to give it to you in one second. And um, I don't know why, I don't know how it's, it's um, it's Dynamic Health Consultant. You, you, you can also go to the dynamichealthconsultant.com and there you can check out this wonderful uh, woman, uh, Mrs. Jacqueline Allen. And I assure you, you are going to be uh, uh, delighted uh, with the works that she's doing. And I'm so excited to have these wonderful women uh, in my corner on the battlefield uh, for the people of God to really uh, uh, educate us on on healthy living, but also spiritual living, because it it, it all ties into one. You know, people are, are are trying to, you know, we're so such a busy world that everyone is trying to do it in a hurry. Like yesterday, they want they want to pay a few dollars for it, and and, and I'm out, <laughs> and it didn't work like that. You know, and, and things things you know. Anything you you, you you learn and you you master, it'll take you three three weeks or so. And so again, I urge you to check out these wonderful women that I just spoke of. Uh, tell them I sent you by. Hopefully, they'll give you a discount. But what they will give you, they'll they'll give you a life changing events, transformation, total. I trust you. Trust me, total transformation is what you'll receive uh, from Ms. Shelley Chapman along with Ms. Jacqueline Allen, a, a dynamic health consultant. So yeah, so anyway, this wonderful article I saw uh, talking about the intermittent fasting, IF they call it, and, and this new trend of, but they call it a new trend in dieting, uh, not eating, but it's fasting, and it's becoming popular uh, it started actually in the UK uh, with the fast diet, 
by Dr. Michael Mosley, and he has trickled over to the United States now, and it has several variations. One is called the Eight Hour Diet uh, by David uh, Zin, 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 Zinko. He's a consulting editorial director at American Media. And while fasting itself is certainly not a novel concept, people have been doing it for re religious reasons for decades. I mean, well, for centuries actually. So intermittent fasting as a weight loss method, method it seems to be the new trend. So people are asking, is it safe and does it really work? And they talked to fitness and nutrition experts, J.J. Virgin, uh, bariatric surgeon, Dr. Marina Kurian, and Dr. John Barati, a precision nutrition, to find out these answers of if, of if this intermittent fasting, is it safe and how does, and does it really work? So... They say that there are different levels of this intermittent fasting diets, but two of the most two of the most ones are the fast diet and the eight-hour diet, and it's sometimes referred to the five-two diet. And it, it, what it does, it encourages people to eat normally five days a week and trim calorie intake down to 500 to 600 calories total for two non-consecutive days in terms of weight loss. And participants can expect to shed about one to two pounds a week says Dr. Mosley on his website. And the 8-hour diet, on the other hand, it limits the, win the window of time for calorie consumption to 8 hours a day, which is supposed to make the body burn fat and calories more efficiently. According to menshealth.com, this brand new, uh, this brand, this brand, well, the brand author, uh, Zing Cinco, used to work for the 8-hour diet, used to work for the eight-hour diet works on a cellular, a cellular level and triggers the energy centers of the body cells. And mitochondria to selectively burn fat for energy. The diet is also said to reduce the amount of cancer causing uh, cell damage caused by typical American diet. And the site says, and what, what's so awesome is what they're saying is, what they're saying is. Uh, these these intermittent uh, fasting diet and they're calling them diets and and, and again it, ha it has to be a transformation a lifestyle and when they're talking about you know eating a certain way for eight hours but yet we look at the diet that we have and I, and I just mentioned it earlier when we, we eat we eat a certain way in the morning time a certain way in the in the afternoon and certainly in, in, in the evening and we're, we're intaking so much sugar and calories and all these things lead to diabetes heart disease cancer cells on, I mean just just being an average person that says oh I don't I don't eat a lot, a lot of meat but but look at what you're doing throughout the day and then you then you did you couple that with stress from a job from a relationship from a family, from school, from, from 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 studying, finances. There's so many uh, levels of stress in your life, doing your life expectancy, and and, and you're, you're eating bad. Ten seconds. So everything is out of whack: your mind, your body, and your spirit. And therefore, your body is being susceptible. To anything, cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure, all these things contribute to what we eat and our emotions. So amazing. So amazing. And I, and, and, and I thank God that I'm getting better because of the, the women in my life on how I eat, what I eat, and my intake of, of sugars in my body. I'm not there yet. But I thank God that now I have a conscience of, you know, oh that looks, you know, that cake looks good, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need that cake. Or oh, wow, I can go for, you know, a chocolate shake. But no, I don't, I don't, I don't need that. You know, I, I, I have that, you know, I don't have, I don't have a full blown willpower. But my God, it, it, it has really transformed in the past two years tremendously. And, in, and the result of it all is I feel better. 
you know, I, I've said on many occasions that for, for, for quite some time, I couldn't even bend down to pick up, pick up a pencil until some friends of mine in, introduced me to some wonderful uh, methods and, and, they, and, and I cut out a lot of sugar, I cut out a lot of fried foods. And then I also, you know, as I said before, I began taking Juice Plus, which has helped me tremendously. And now when I, when I go I go get a checkup, I'm 47 years, years old. They, they are, you know, I had, I had one nurse tell me, she said, wow, you know, for an African-American, your blood pressure is, 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 is like a, a teenager. <laughs> now, when I used to go there, they wouldn't say that four or five years ago, you know, they, they would send me from doctor to doctor. I had a regular heartbeat, all kind of inflammation, joint pains. But I made a transformation and I made, I made a conscious effort to want to do better and have long life. And so the choice is yours. I mean, here I am reading these, these different things about, uh, you know, intermittent dieting, uh, intermittent fasting, and all these other things, but but the, the bottom line is you're going to have to make the conscious effort in your mind, body, and spirit to eat right. But not only eat right, but you got to live right and live righteous. And all these things, no matter what is going on around you, you begin to live right and eat right and have a, a, a righteous mindset. All those things come into play. How you eat and how you view you view food. And I, 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 I can't tell you when the last time I went to a McDonald's. Couldn't tell you. Because no longer, you know, I, I see McDonald's, but, you know, it, it's, it, it's such a refreshing thought to know that when you see a fast food chain, even when you're hungry, it is not on your radar. You don't know how incredible that feels to, to just ride by and, you, and you're hungry, but, you, but, but your subconscious doesn't say, pull over, like it used to do. And that's when you know you have the transformation in your mind. It's not about a diet. <laughs> it's about a transformation. A transformation, so awesome. So there are different levels of intermittent fasting out there. And as I said, the, the, you know, the, the uh, one's called the fast diet, the other one's called the eight hour diet. And they both, uh, they both diet, they claim that in addition to helping participants lose weight and keep it off, they also help regulate blood sugar, possibly prevent diabetes. They slow the aging process and prevent, the, prevent or minimize the risk of heart disease. So far, these claims have only been supported by small human studies or animal studies, but our experts also noted that there are there isn't much scientific research in support of, of the in, intermittent diet as effective long-term weight loss plans. But still, that doesn't necessarily mean they're meritless, assuming you're a healthy individual with realistic weight loss goals. Some experts suggest the, the positive aspect of these weight loss plans is that they challenge people to get in touch with their hunger levels, says J.J. Virgin, nutrition and fitness expert, author of The Virgin Diet. Usually, we're eating because we are tired, thirsty, or bored. So you should ask yourself, why are you eating again? And learning the difference between and when you think you're hungry and when you're actually hungry is one of the biggest takeaways uh, from this whole thing. So, in this one Dr. John Barati, MD, Chief Science Officer of Precision Nutrition, he wrote a book called Experiment with Intermittent Fasting. It, and it's based on his own experiment with various intermittent fasting plans over the course of six months. And trial fasting is a great way to practice managing hunger, says Dr. Barati. Barati is an essential skill for anyone who wants to get in shape and stay healthy and fit. Though Dr. Barati started off at a healthy weight, he lost 20 pounds in six months and reduced his body fat from 10% to 4% while maintaining most of his lean muscle mass. <coughs> Let me tell you something. 
this awesome thing I did. Um, I, I some years, uh, two years ago, back in 20, 2012, I was doing a fasting with my church, and uh, it was, it was it, we do it every year. Uh, my former church, that is, and, and, and it's a three week fasting that we do, and. Um, So what we do is one week because a lot of folks never fasted before. So you know every year, uh, beginning of the year, the pastor finds out how many people you know have fat. I mean, have ever fasted and so on and so forth. And and so what he does is one week, the first week they cut out dairy, and then the second week they cut out uh, sugar, and then the third week they cut you know you know you cut out dairy first, first week, second week. Is, is dairy and sugar and then the third week is dairy sugar and meats and I lost 13 pounds in them three weeks time and what, what and I tell you what I learned from that is man did I feel better and ever since then you know I fast at least maybe 50 to 75 days out of the year because, you know, my grandmother used to always tell me growing up, you, you need to go to bed hungry sometime. And I'm like, she done lost her mind. I'm not going, I, but I'm not going to bed hungry. I'm not going to bed hungry for nobody. But, 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 but the amazing thing about that is, you know, when, when, you, when you go to bed, you know, semi-hungry, uh, you, you tend to sleep better, you know, versus, you know, you, you've eaten this Big old twenty-four ounce porterhouse steak, baked potato. Now you got, you know, you drunk some beer, or whatever, you know, whatever your soda, and you you ate some pie, or cake, ice cream, and you just in a coma. <laughs> I saw I saw an article yesterday about a mouse that ate a good meal, and, and they call it coma. What they call it, coma? Uh, he he had coma dose. He had overdose on he had overdose on eating so much food, and I didn't realize over over the years that that's why I was so sick, because I was stuffing myself for no apparent reason, but because I could. I wasn't hungry. I just did it because I could. Every time I I rode by McDonald's or, 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 or any fast food, especially fried chicken. Man, I was it was on and popping. I was breaking bread. I I, I didn't care. It, it it got so bad where I was. I would buy chicken. I, I was going home when I when I when I got off work at night. Or going to work. I'm sorry. I would stop by this chicken joint and get me some chicken. And if it's on Tuesday, I get they have a special. I get three boxes of chicken. And on the way back home, I do it again. So I had chicken for three, four days. About forty some pieces of chicken. And I did I did this people for four four years or more. I don't even remember, but I know it's more than four years. And I'd eat myself into a comatose. And I could not. Get up in the morning. I mean, it felt like I, I had been drinking all night. <laughs> and what it was was the fact that I was overeating and killing myself. Heartburn. Uh, all kind of irregular heartbeat. I couldn't be. I mean, I, I, I was so swollen from inflammation and, and all types of things that were about to attack my body. Arthritis, everything. My joints were aching. And glory to God again. I, God was able to deliver me and send the right people in my life and that's why I do these shows man I really do them for, so if you if you have a husband or, 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 or a spouse especially a male who's stubborn sit him down and let him listen to this show I, I even I even do them I broadcast them uh, via YouTube if you don't want to listen he can sit and watch me on YouTube but I urge you to, to, to get those people checked out and, and, and get them you know, get them on something juice. You know, don't don't be buying those one a day. Buy all those all over the counter 
one of their vitamins, get them some Juice Plus. Go to Juice Plus uh, YouTube and find out more about them. 27 nutrients. Not vitamins, people, nutrients. That's what you need in a capsule. It will turn your life around in 90 days. All natural. Nothing, not no artificial coloring, nothing like that. Wonderful, wonderful deal. So I just wanted to come on tonight and just talk about something a bit more lighter and a bit more positive and uplifting. And uh, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. And listen, I hope you were inspired by this. And, and, and again, uh, please, please, please uh, share this with somebody. Uh, let them know that we are here. HolySpiritsRadio.com uh, You can check us out Monday through Friday, 11.30 And uh, I want to thank you guys again And as we say in parting To love yourselves is to know yourselves And to know yourselves comes by spending time with God We love you, peace And we'll see you real soon Thank you for tuning into our show We are honored to be your voice And hearing the latest and most accurate news we would love to hear from you, our listeners, and tell us what you think about the show. And if there are any topics or shows you would love to hear, we surely would love to hear to get those shows on for you as soon as possible. And if you or someone you know has a small business, we would love to invite you on the show to promote your new business with our viewers and listeners. And finally, if you want to be a sponsor for the show or have your business advertised on the Holy Spirit Radio Show, just click over to the webpage at www.holyspiritsradio.org. From there, you click on the contact page, and we will email you our sales package for you to choose which advertisement spot may suit your needs. We thank you for tuning in and hope to hear from you real soon. Again, this is Minister Gio Hart saying thank you. <laughs>